Are you looking for a way to add multiple photos inside of your Spark project? Well, today I'm gonna to show you guys the new and simple way to upload those multiple photos. What's up guys, my name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where our goal is to help you start and scale a print on demand business. Today, I'm excited to show you guys a little bit of an update that Spark did. They're constantly updating the platform and this one was a big help for me because before to upload multiple images was kind of a task. Uh, I, without using Photoshop, you had to do a bunch of other uh, programs and uploading in multiple different places and it was just a big headache. So today, I'm gonna show you guys the way they've simplified that whole process and made it literally two clicks to now uploading multiple images which is exciting and means a lot more power over the designs that we're creating. Here we are inside of Spark. We've got our artboard prepped and our toolbox over to the right hand side. And today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not necessarily going to be specifically about print on demand, but I was just doing a video with my good friend Christy where we were showing off how to do vision boards inside of Spark. And while doing the vision board, I realized that they did make this update, which makes it a lot easier to manipulate multiple photos. And so that's what I'm going to show today. But we're going to actually start with a layout, which is the second to last tab in our toolbox. And we're going to come down to here to a layout where there's just four squares, something nice and simple for this example. And once we have this layout in here, it's going to break our document into four different cells, which we can edit independently, or we can add in four photos. And so that's what I wanted to show you guys at first is going up here to the add button on the top of our toolbox. We can go to photos and then it gives us two different options for uploading photos. We can upload a photo through this button, which is going to bring us to our file explorer. So anything inside of our computer that we already have, we can upload or we can go to find free photos, which will allow us to search two different uh, websites that Spark is partnered with, Pixel Bay and Unsplash. And in Unsplash, I'm gonna type in woods, as this will give us a lot of pictures of foresty things. And what I wanna do is select one of these images and I can pin it to the background or move it freely. And this box that pops up, this is the update. So now we can pin our images to the background with this button or move them around freely, which used to be a big headache to get our photos to do that. Uh, it was opening up multiple programs, making sure that it was a PNG and transparent and all these extra steps. So the fact that we can do this with one click of a button now uh, is really fantastic. But for this first, first image, I'm going to pin it to the background. And then I'm gonna find several other in that same library of Unsplash uh, to add as well. Oops, that's the same one, but we'll add it anyways. Um, to add as well, so you guys can see that you have multiple images separated out in these different cells uh, when you use the layout. So if I select a different image this time, add it to the collage, there we go, three, and I'll add one more quickly just so you guys can see what it's like to have all these images in here in these different cells. And say you want to move this image up here, you can just click and drag it and it'll actually swap those two images. So there is some functionality uh, with these cells. You can change the sizing, you can add um, some borders. There are a few different sliders that you can mess around with um, and get kind of the look that you're going for. And again, we were doing this for a vision board, um, so not necessarily something I would upload to a product, but you could if you had the right product and the right images. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the ability to use that move freely. And for this, I'm going to go to my photos tab and I'm going to upload a photo. I actually have my headshot already pre-uploaded uh, on my computer. So I'm gonna go into my file explorer, hit open, and then I'm going to click this button, which will allow me to move it around freely. And this is just a regular JPEG. Uh, so it might take a second to upload into the website, but once it's here, now we can move my headshot wherever I want. So it's not bound to any one of these cells. We can rotate it uh, and we can even crop it with some crazy new shapes that they added in. And there's just a lot more functionality now built in to Spark as far as manipulating photos go. And so having multiple photos is now easier than ever. Ooh, one last tip I want to mention actually is something that's underutilized, I think, is the filter. Uh, so if you click on an image and go over to your filter tab, uh, there are all these cool filters you can apply, but also this enhance photo drop down is right here. And when you click this, it will give you sliders for things like contrast, brightness, saturation, highlight. So if you need to quickly edit a photo, there are some sliders that will allow you to do that inside of Spark as well. Just something that's not utilized a lot. I thought I'd throw that in here as an extra little tip at the end. But if you'd like to learn more about Spark and some tips and tricks that I have on this tool or see me use this to actually design for our print on demand business, you can click these playlists over here. And until the next video, I'll see you guys around.